All right, so in this problem, I have 5x to the power of 5 minus 5x is equal to 0. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by factoring out 5 from 5x to the power of 5 minus 5x. So now I have 5 times x to the power of 5 minus x is equal to 0. Now I can go ahead and divide both sides by 5. So then these two cancel out. And now I'll be left with x to the power of 5 minus x is equal to 0 divided by 5 is 0. Now, x to the power of 5 minus x, I can simply factor out x from here. So now if I factor out x, I get x times well, x to the power of 5 divided by x is x to the power of 4. And negative x divided by x is negative 1. So this is equal to 0. And now this is going to give me two equations. I have x is equal to 0, and I have x to the power of 4 minus 1 is equal to 0. So x equals 0, this is already a solution. So now I'm going to go ahead and solve x to the power of 4 minus 1 equals 0. Well, x to the power of 4, that's the same thing as x to the power of 2 times 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, it's going to go x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. So this is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, if x squared to the power of 2 minus 1 squared, a is equal to x squared and b is equal to 1. So I have x squared plus 1 times x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 1 equals 0, and I have x squared minus 1 equals 0. So for x squared minus 1 equals 0, I can simply add 1 on both sides, and I'll be left with x squared is equal to 1. Now I'm going to take the square root on both sides. Square root of x squared is simply x, so I have x is equal to positive or negative 1, because the square root of 1 is positive or negative 1. So these are two solutions. And now, x squared plus 1 equals 0. I'm going to start by subtracting 1 on both sides. So I have x squared is equal to negative 1. Now, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x. And the square root of negative 1, this is actually equal to the imaginary number i. So I have x equal to positive or negative i. So these are two more solutions to this problem. So my solutions are x equals 1, x equals negative 1, x equals 0, x equals i, and x equals negative i, or negative i. So these are my five solutions to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of x is equal to 7. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 7. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 to the power of x. So I can move x to the front. So now I'm going to have x times log 5 is equal to log 7. Now, to simplify this, the value of log 5, this is equal to approximately 0 0.8451. And, or sorry, log 5, this is actually equal to 0 0.6990. And log 7, this is equal to 0 0.8451. So these are my two values 
four lock five and lock seven. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start by dividing both sides by log five. So then these two cancel out. And now I'm going to be left with x is equal to log seven over log five. Now, I know that log seven, this is equal to 0 0.8451. And log 5, this is equal to 0 0.6990. So now I have 0 0.8451 over 0 0.6990, which is equal to 1.2090. So this is my answer. So now to check, first start with 5 to the power of x equals 7. I know that x equals 1.2090, so I have 5 to the power of 1.2090 is equal to 7. Now, 5 to the power of 1.2090, that's equal to approximately 6.99, so I have 6.99 equals 7. And 6.99 rounds up to 7, so I have 7 equals 7. And because this is right, my solution is right. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this algebraic equation. Now make sure to stick at the end of the video where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So now, from x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2, I'm actually going to factor out x to the power of 2. So now I have x to the power of 2 times. Well, x to the power of 3 divided by x to the power of 2 is simply just x plus x to the power of 2 divided by x to the power of 2 is 1. So I have x to the power of 2 times x plus 1 plus simply all I'm left with is x plus 1. So this is equal to 0. Now, if I factor out x plus 1 from this, I get x plus 1 times x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. So from here, I get two equations. I have x plus 1 is equal to 0 and I have x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. So for x plus 1 equals 0, simply subtract 1 on both sides, these two cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to negative 1. So this is one solution of x. Now for x squared plus 1 equals 0, I'm going to first start by subtracting 1 on both sides. So now these two ones cancel out, and now I have x squared is equal to negative 1. Well, now I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So now I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 1. Now, the square root of x squared, that's simply equal to x. So if x equals square root of negative 1, well, it's actually pos positive or negative square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is actually equal to i, the imaginary number i. So now, if I replace the square root of negative 1 with i, I get x is equal to positive or negative i. So my three solutions to this problem are negative 1, i, and negative i. Sorry, negative i. So these are my solutions.